Hello, welcome to another episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. I'm Jabari Harris. I'm the host and I'm the proprietor. And this episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show, as you can see, I got a good guest with me. I got my family member, Kirk Simpson, right here. As you can see, appreciate him allowing me to come to his uh, man cave, Bill's Caves. So I'm going to just allow him to introduce uh, himself to, to my Fresh Bar Sports Show audience. Hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. I'm Kirk, as he said. Hey. Thanks. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, we 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 gonna dive into this. Like I said, thanks again for allowing the Fresh Bar Sports Show to pull to pull up to you know this this, this beautiful uh, you know Bill's Cave down here. Appreciate this, but uh, you know we still a nation over here. But we, so we gonna we, we, we gonna get into it. We gonna get into it. Uh, first and foremost, um, can we just like talk about your uh, sports background? Can we just you know your sports upcoming bringing? Yeah. Background: Played with high school football, basketball, baseball. Okay. I grew up playing all of it since I was about eight. Um, I uh, played a little bit of a college ball at uh, Western Maryland College, it's now called McDaniel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, uh, got a chance to win a nice conference championship for the year that I actually played there. Mm -hmm. uh, then I came, uh, left off to the Army, and then came back and played a semi-pro football for about uh, three years. Three years, three different teams. We did the York City Tigers, I think it was about 2008, Then after that we did the... Uh, the uh, the York Razorbacks. Oh, okay, yeah. And then yeah. after the Razorbacks, then was the York Silver Bullets. I did four years, so I did that for three years. Okay, okay. As okay. far as sports. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that, that's good. You a uh, big heavy in the football. So, uh, uh, the high school. You can tell the audience what high school that you went to. Oh, York High. You know the okay, best okay, high school. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, just so you know, one of the shots. You know, shout out to you know, I'm reminder and all that good stuff. And. For can we like uh, transition to like your professional sports teams? Obviously, Bills. But I'm saying uh, if you you know basketball or baseball, whatever, you know for professional sports teams that, that that you like, you know we you know you like the Bills. Okay, so uh, baseball. I was a base. I was Oakland A's guy when they had oh, okay. McGuire, oh, Ricky okay, Henderson, okay. and Canseco. Oh. So when they yeah. left, I kind of left baseball. <laughs> basketball. I watched uh, Dominic Wilkins, my favorite player. When he left, I left. But I actually did watch Iverson for a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Football, of course, the Bills. When I seen, uh, first time I seen Bruce Smith. Oh, okay, Bruce Smith. Okay, okay. Been that a Bills it. fan forever. Yeah, okay, that's there for you. Now, I just want to, um, so you was uh, Ace fan with McGuire. I guess the uh, the McGuire brothers was there. Um, that was that was around your, around your time. So you, I thought you would, um, would it be like in like the, the slugger uh, baseball uh, players that they was. You, you didn't like um, Barry Bonds and that, that, that type of area. You know, that, you know. Barry Bonds was the type of, you know, baseball player. You know, Mark McGuire was, you know, so saw your home run. You know, that type of, right. type of guy, you, you, you didn't fall in love with Barry Bonds. I'm just just curious about that. Ricky Henderson was my guy. Oh, okay, Wasn't okay. really a big Barry Bonds guy. I honestly said, no, he wasn't. Ken Griffey, no, but he had nice sneakers. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, 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 uh, yeah Ricky okay. Henderson was the base stiller. He was fast. So. Oh, okay, you like that type of stuff. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so, Ricky okay. Henderson was like my guy. No, oh, okay, okay. Now, me personally, I'm a Yankees man. Even, even before... A Rod got there, but uh, you know I like the A Rod too. Uh, you know I like A Rod. You know I like the A Rod separate, separate from from the okay. Yankees, but then joining the Yankees, I just like the Yankees even more. Um, so you know, like I said, I'm not that, that big, big big baseball fan at all. But you know, of course, I you know, I root for the Yankees, and uh, I guess that, that's just from the Sandlot uh, Sandlot movie from right. you know the, the Sandlot movies, uh, Bay Roof and all that. That historical uh, relevance uh, with that. But um, we don't need to be playing around too, too much. Can we just? Uh, I mean, I know you like. I, I, we about to dive into the bills real quick. But I, I know, you like, I, I, I said, we, we, you know, we can put a pause on that. We'll we'll, we'll talk we'll, we'll talk about uh, where he ranked in, in, in your NBA greats. We'll, 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 we'll get there. Right. Um, bills, you know, Christmas played. Uh, you, you, you know, this past uh, Christmas Eve weekend, Bills 35, 30, uh, 13 over the Bears. Yeah, Josh Allen go off or something like 172 yards, two touchdowns, interception, sack, uh, six carries, 41 rushing yards, and a touchdown. And Diggs, only two receptions, 26 yards. Um, you know, I just wanted to, you know, throw, throw your guys' numbers out there. You know, Davis had, what, three receptions, 45 yards, and a touchdown. Right. And um, uh, we ain't going to forget about your, your running back. Uh, Singletary, 12 carries, what, 106, uh, 106 yards, one touchdown, two receptions, 19 yards. So what you, what you did also about uh, – um, not just about the you know the victory on the Bears, but I guess your twelve and four season as a whole. Twelve and four, I definitely think we started out. I mean twelve and three. I'm excuse me, sorry, 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 sorry. It's all good. You're giving us one. <laughs> you trying to give us one. Yeah, no. Not yet. We got Monday night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got yeah. Monday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, we, 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 hold on, we're gonna talk about Monday night. We're gonna talk yeah. about Monday night. We're gonna talk about Monday night. Let's talk about the season. Let's talk about the season, though. So, but, 
I think we start out strong the first couple games until we we hit Miami. We kind of hit yeah. something happened with uh, I would say something happened with Allen because when the defense is clicking, okay. it's clicking. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah. When we lost, you had to, if, if we couldn't score more than twenty one in those losses, then in those first several, those first couple losses, we should have won. Yeah, we should always be able to score more than twenty one. Yeah, I definitely have uh, the skills, um, the, the skill positions. You know, obviously you got Davis, you got, you, you got um, Diggs, you got Singletary. Um, and, um, I'm not sure um, the name of the tight end, but uh, like I said, y'all, y'all, y'all skills position group. You know, y'all got the piece. Y'all not. Yeah, that's a knocks. Y'all, y'all got the. Uh, y'all, y'all got skills position. You know, obviously, y'all defense got better. Now I know it was definitely a hurt piece with Von Miller going out. I know it's definitely a hurt piece because y'all know the reasons why y'all brought him in there, and then he's not there. But you, you, you know, what I'm saying y'all know the reasons why y'all brought him, in there and, he, and he's not there. So that's I'm not. We're not going to ignore that. That's not a, like that's not a hurt piece right. on the defensive side. I will say. What he did bring to the team, and when he did leave, you have guys like Oliver Miller and Phillips and uh, 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 Rouse. I can't can't pronounce. That yeah, yeah. Look at it. Mm-hmm. The end. These guys actually stepped up, but the main one that stepped up was uh, not. I'm sorry, I said Oliver Miller. Ed Oliver. Oh yeah. yeah Ed I, Oliver I, 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 stepped up at that D tackle man. He was okay, bringing okay. safeties. He was mm-hmm. bringing tackles for loss. He was actually bringing his A game. Okay, so okay. I will say the defense has been balling, but if Josh Allen doesn't wake up to play. Or I will always say, like, was it Johnny Manziel or was it Baker Mayfield that say he wake up Philly, woke up feeling dangerous? It was one of the Yeah, 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 it was uh, just Baker Mayfield. So, <laughs> if, if Allen don't wake up feeling dangerous, we can't win a ball game. Yeah, 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 so that's yeah. That's not okay, 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 I like so that, like that. as long as he comes to play and he's not throwing interceptions and he's completing these passes, we win games because we can keep teams under 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can yeah. score way more than 21. 21. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely can, I definitely can. Um... I'm like I said, we're, we're going to break into it. I'm eager to see what y'all going to do against the you know uh, Monday Night Football Bengals. Obviously, the Bengals was in Super Bowl last year. You're they got a good thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they already got it. They got a good uh, crew. Uh, like you know, de- defense. I'm not you know it's not y'all defense, but I'm saying offensive wise, you know, I I, I I you know it's no disrespect. I you know I, I feel like Joe Barrow, you know, thrower of the ball is is a better quarterback thrower. Of the ball, not you know, with the legs, the tangibles, not all, all that extra stuff, but just a thrower of the ball. Uh, I, I believe that Joe Barrow is a better thrower of the ball than Josh Allen and um, Diggs and Chase. I believe they can cancel, cancel out, even though I do got Diggs a better receiver than Chase. You know, obviously because of the duration and consistency of of the career and and all that. But Chase is there already. Jamar right. Chase is a dog already. I you know, agree. I just can't put him over guys that have been doing it for right. years and years. And now, you know, he I mean, no, you know, no, not going Jamar Chase because I feel like he's already. But he just second year in the league. You know, but but he's that he, he's that he's that guy already. Right. And um, and we're not sleep slipping on T Higgins. T Higgins, we he's like number one ish too. Even though it's just Jamar Chase is such that dog. He gets to get all that attention. He's that, that superstar. They act like uh, T. Higgins is like a number two receiver. Now. Like, nah, he really is number one. He be, he's tall. He's long. He has some type of good speed to him. He gets the jump balls. He moves possession. All, all that. He always putting up numbers right along Jamar Chase. And, and even before Jamar Chase because he, uh, I believe he's like a, a year. Uh, yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's a year ahead, ahead of Jamar Chase. The difference between that, I think, is Jamar Chase came doing it right away. Oh, is that, yeah, Higgins, exactly. he, he didn't need a goal. Higgins didn't do it right away. Yeah, yeah, he had a year. He was quiet. Jamar yeah, yeah, he had just a, came in, boom. Mm-hmm. He just had an issue with the ball. Yeah, yeah exactly. If exactly. it was the right guy, but, that, go ahead. Yeah, but not, I, I believe, you talk about Jamar Chase, I, I believe that that was the time and because, you know, he sat out the year, so he had to just get back to the time and the group and everything. Right. Because of the COVID, he sat out the college year and then just, just went back to team sports with the sitting out of the year. We understand the training and all that, you know, the 7-7, 11-11, and, 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 and control practice training that you could possibly do. It don't, it, 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 it's not the same as, you know, the game reps. Right. So so that's what, uh, you know, he just had to get used to, you know, he had his woes during the preseason and, you know, uh, you know, getting time and right with, with, with his quarterback and all that good stuff. And then, like, the, the regular season just took it right off. But um, and, and then the running back Joe Mixon, he, you know, he he came in a long way, and, and, and he's oh, yeah. you know he been he been doing his thing, especially against the Steelers. He been, he been giving us some business. Yeah, Mixon's gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's definitely gonna be a problem. So, so talk to me, man. What, what you looking like? You know what I mean? I I personally think the Bengals is gonna pull this out. It's at, it, it's in Cincinnati. I, I mean, the weather don't have nothing. To do. Y'all both playing cold weather, but I'm saying it's a, it's a home game. Um, you know, so you know, I, I'm giving them the three points. 
Hey, hey, you, you're giving the three points. Uh, yeah, yeah. Me being a Bills fan, yeah. this is what it boils down to. As always, said, if Josh Allen comes to play, we win that ball game. Mm-hmm. Josh yeah. Allen has to come and say, "Hey, I'm not going to throw no picks, no mm-hmm. picks, no turnovers. Yeah, yeah. We win the ball game." The defense is going to be there usually, but sometimes those cornerbacks are suspect. Johnson, Teron Johnson, very, very suspect. Mm-hmm. We need another another D back to go along with. Uh, Tredavious White, but being that he is coming off injury, we got to make sure this is going to tell us Ooh. how well that leg is holding up if he's on Jam- that ACL. If he's out there with uh, you know Jamar Chase and Higgins chasing those guys, is it going to hold up? Okay, but okay. I will say the cornerback play has always been suspect for us. Other than besides White, yeah. besides White, yeah, yeah. sometimes I've seen White get burnt too. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I, I'll be the first to admit it. Now, so so can you talk to me about because of that? that, that I, 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 I'm segwaying. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing the audible because we're talking quarterbacks, and I'm like, uh, I forgot. You know, um, you know, you, you, Stillers, you, you know, gave us some some leftovers. Uh, we got your man Levi Wallace. Did y'all saw some bill of goods. Like, what's going on with him now? Because I, I let me tell you from my insight, from what I see from him, my man been hurt all season long. He been playing only a couple of games. And he ain't been looking real pretty in the games that he's been playing. Now, I know you're you coming back from injury, so you got to get yourself together. But you always out and coming back from injury and got to get yourself together. Like, you're not really being productive for me. And we need cornerbacks on there. I, I, like I said, st- like Stillers, we have a great defense. Front seven and the, obviously the man, the safety back there. But other than that, that front seven and that safety back there, the DBs get weak. You get, I mean, get beat. You know, I know Emma is trying to do his, do his thing, the other safety. And I know Sutton, Cam Sutton, trying to do the best he can. He's more like a slot cornerback for me. We need two starter cornerbacks out there. Well, I tell you what, Levi Wallace is not the guy. <laughs> I was when we when he left, yeah, yeah. I wasn't hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they I'm was like, always throwing Levi Wallace out there. I think Levi Wallace is an Alabama product. If yeah, I'm he, not yeah, yeah, right. yeah, because he's teaming up with make up, make, up, make up Fitzpatrick was on the team, and he's not. He doesn't play like Alabama Alabama product. Every time they throw him in there, he's getting burned. He's getting smoked. I'm not a Levi Wallace fan. That's all we had. When uh, Davis White went out, yeah. was Levi Wallace. So when you guys got him, which I said, man. Watch he play great because everybody that leaves the Bills always play yeah, great. Yeah, but he was he, he didn't but even he play to like great. the middle. He didn't even play <laughs> to like the middle of the season. No. He was like some. I guess he got hurt off season. You know, uh, training camp, or whatever. And he didn't play to like the middle of the season. And then he went back out for like cushion protocol. And then uh, you know, like now he's playing. Uh, you know, consistently now. But I've never been a fan of Wallace. I'm not a fan of Bills Mafia. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was okay. a Bills fan before it was Bills Mafia. Oh, so okay, I will okay, say okay. The Bills Mafia is probably not a fan. Of yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's so. not a crowd favorite. Yeah, yeah. So now that you guys got him, yeah, yeah. we'll let you guys <laughs> and, 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 and give him a hug. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. All right, man. Let, let, um, we, we're gonna move on now. Um, before I get off the Bills topic, I, I, I just wanted to um, bring it to the I don't know if you catch. Uh, the episode that I did of the first bar sports show when I, 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 I you're a Bills fan, you love the Bills. I, I know you know Jim Kelly. I know you know who he is. Right. I, I, I had his nephew on the show, you know, the Titan from Ole Miss, uh, Casey Kelly. Okay. Uh, I had him on the show a couple, uh, couple, you know, last month, actually. Um, it was, you know, um, Thanksgiving weekend. I didn't, Thanksgiving I didn't, weekend. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 said, <laughs> I, I, said, I, I said that to you. I, I, I had him on the show. Yeah, little Jim Kelly signature yeah, thing over that, there. That, 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 that. <laughs> yeah, so I got, I got, I had his son on the. Uh, I mean, I'm his grandson. How'd uh, you get on? I mean, his, uh, yeah, his uh, grandson on the on there. I know uh, it's a long story. Like I, um, I, I actually knew them from. You know the, the the area they actually lived back in Red Line. Okay. Back, you know, so back, his back nephew in the, uh, that the, went the, to the, Ole Miss. Yeah, Ole Miss. The quarterback, Chad, 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 Chad Kelly. So you knew Chad too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he won the. Um, he to, to, Red Line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won. No, and then um, he's in Canada, Canadian Football League. They won the uh, the the Great Cup, the Argonauts. Okay, he's they still playing. Won. Yeah, for, for for Canadian football league, Chad. Yeah, just, just, yeah, Chad. Oh, okay. Just just, just this past season that, that just took place. Okay. They won the uh, Great Cup. Um, Argonauts. All right. They do like a. Uh, a dual quarterback thing, like where they sub in and out the quarterback, gotcha. which is weird. I don't really understand uh-huh. it, but you know, Kenny, they got the goalposts like in front right. of the red zone, like so they just got their own rules or whatever. But, okay. but you know, he's making it work from obviously he's still trying to get back into the league and all that, that good stuff, but he's you know, making that work from him, all that good stuff. Okay. So, but um, yeah, I, I had that you know, check that out, and um, you know, um, can't wait to see what, what he do. Like, um, he's his shoulders hurt right now, Casey, uh, the, the, the other younger one that's the tight end at Ole Miss right now. So he ain't gonna be playing their their little holiday, uh, the New Year's um, holiday bowl game that they okay. got. But um, can't wait to see what they do at the next level. But yeah, you know, Bills fan, I just wanted to throw that out there. Let, right. let you know that. Um, 
We're going to, uh, can we talk about, I, um, I, um, I don't know if you caught w w uh, wind of this on, you know, on news media or, or conversations around, around people talking about, uh, you know the Warriors, Draymond Green, you know him. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you heard about him punching and knocking out his uh, teammate Jordan yeah. Poole yeah. in practice. I've seen it. Yeah, 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 I've seen it. Yeah, yeah that, that that was something different. That was deadly. I just wanted to get your like your thoughts on that input because like that's different because fights do happen in practice. You know, I mean, obviously he shouldn't put his man to sleep like that. You know that. You know, but fights do happen in practice. But that video got leaked from from the inside sources, you know, from the obviously from the words organization. Right. For people who has access to that video room, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even blaming it on the the video workers themselves. Right. I'm talking about you know higher ups people that have access to that room. Right. Like, we're gonna put this out because we tired of this Draymond Green stuff, and no, we're not paying them another hundred million plus dollar contract. <laughs> we're giving it to Jordan Poole. We're giving it to Andrew Wiggins. You're a Draymond, we, we're not giving you no more hundred million dollar contracts. Right. You make you make come here for the veteran minimum. If you want right. to do that, but but you know you know Draymond Green, he wanted another bag after, after this contract and all that stuff, and all the rumors about him, you know, you know, obviously, you know, he got to go to relationship with LeBron James and want to be a Lakers. I, I, I feel like that'd be dumb and redundant. You know, you just got like two guys that done the same things. You know, Draymond Green and LeBron James essentially in the same height. You know, just you know playing side by side. I I don't like that, but just want to get your thoughts on on, on that because I I knew that obviously. Came from inside sources, and I and I feel like you know higher ups. If you're supposed to be a veteran, somebody to look up to. Mm. Me personally, that should have never happened. Yeah, yeah. Me yeah. personally, like, how can you also a younger player? Yeah, I know that you tout. First off, a, a younger player who you yeah. be, I mean, you wouldn't. I mean, let's take it back to Barkley and Shaq and those yeah. guys. You're not gonna do that to them guys, mm. but you decide to try and punish. Set an example for what? That, to me, that, that that lacks leadership. You don't. It doesn't make you a leader if you ask me for something like that coming to Draymond. There is no leadership, and that should have never happened. Me personally, you probably. I don't know if I was a coach, I probably wouldn't even have him on my team. Well, I I mean I say this because I mean regardless, of course you know it, it shouldn't happen. But you know, at low league, you know high school leagues, you know college basketball, like NBA, like you know fights do happen in practice, and obviously you have. You know, freshmen or, or seniors in there. Not necessarily saying it, 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 it is usually just freshmen and seniors, but I'm saying there's a difference. Obviously, it's more, you know, more so guys that got, you know, personal relationships with each other. But I'm using a, a notorious situation Kobe and Shaq. Shaq, seven years in the league. You know, veteran, you know, knee deep. Kobe, rookie. You know, Kobe, obviously, Kobe Bryant, you know, coming in high headed, doing, the, I'm the man, all this stuff. They exchange the words. You know, Shaq taking swings on Kobe. You know, obviously, there's, there's no video and clearly he, he didn't connect. You know, for but you know, you know that's why Shaq didn't come out because then Draymond Green, because you know Shaq knows he does the same thing. You know that type of stuff happens, and know the video. That, it's a problem that the video got out. Um, I know people want to make a big deal about the Draymond Green situation, but people that play sports, especially for a long time, they know you know this stuff. You know, bound to happen, and right. it does happen every season. But as a leader, man, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I tell you what, though, let's kind of take it back a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, you say Shaq swung on Kobe. Mm -hmm. Shaq tried to swing on Barkley too, but it had the reverse effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. when Barkley picked him up and yeah, laid him down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there it was. I mean, you pick and choose. Mm -hmm. I feel like those guys pick and choose. Like it's Yo, you, you yeah, yeah, yeah. As a leader, man, it, it should never, it never, ever, ever escalate. I played sports. I yeah. never had to put my hands on somebody. As a football player, what I do is I was all right. Next play, I got you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just busting their butt on next the play. Court, yeah. I'm, as, as a defensive yeah. player. Instead of me doing a move or going at the guy with the ball, I'm going to bull rush him and run him into the dirt and let the guy know, hey, man, I can play both sides of that. Yeah. I'm just going to show you, hey, I'm here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to gain that respect by playing. By the play, exactly. I don't have yeah. to put my hands yeah, on you to yeah, try yeah. and get, a, get that type of respect. And, and, that, and that, that, that was me, too. You know, but, you know, by the play, you know, lead, you know, by the table, by the play, or get at somebody by, by, by the play, you know, right. and, and talk a little trash while, while, you know, while I'm busting it. But, you know, exactly. So, you know, that, 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 was, that was me. But, like, I, you know, I, I, you're around, you see it, like, it, it ha you know, it definitely happens, and obviously you as a leader, you, you you know, you're not supposed to be engaged in that, you're supposed to be breaking that stuff up, but, uh, yeah, that was different, man, like, I said, I, I wish we could have heard that audio of that, because, obviously, you know, you hear all the multiple reports, you know, Jordan Poole said some fighting words regarding money, and, you, you know, you don't talk about the money, I, I, he knows what's up, he knew he was about to get a max contract, 
and taking away from Draymond Green and you know bring you know bringing that stuff up and, and you know it's, I, even though Draymond do do have money but you know he he want what he feel like he deserves it, it is what it is and, and I'm pretty sure he's accepted the fact that he got to go get it elsewhere but he is mad about it he wanted to take it out on him but Jordan Poole you, I don't know where you're from or what's going on regardless if he was wrong or not you push somebody I guess you should be you should be on the assumption that you're ready to fight. Like you shouldn't just be pushing nobody and just thinking like we're we're kids and we're gonna be having a pushing match. Like I don't want to understand what that was. You know the video like Jordan Poole pushed them like to get him, you know get out of my face and you know right. Draymond took off on him. It's just like well, like what do you think? You think he was just gonna push you back? Yeah. And y'all was gonna be pushing the shoving? <laughs> I mean, so it's just like man, you should have just you know you know just walked away or left it alone. Like when you pushing like you know that that's but like that's Draymond Green. So he's just and fight, he's already in fighting mode. That's the type of person he is. Right. He's built that. Yeah. They, 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 the media has built that character for Draymond. I mean, but uh, like, I, I, you know, I could, I, I could see that he, he, he before, the, you know, he before it, like he, he, he would engage if it need be. No, I, I feel like it, Dr- it, Draymond yeah. wasn't Draymond. The media built this. Character. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, That's yeah, 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 yeah. The media built this yeah, yeah, Draymond. This, yeah, yeah. hey, he's this bad boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost like you build it. Like, well. You can't, I'm never gonna care comparing Dennis Rodman. Oh, Dennis no, Rodman no, no. was that guy, but yeah, yeah, exactly. they built the bad boy yeah, yeah. Yeah, image right. for Draymond, yeah, and now he has to virgin. live up to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> yeah, 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 but like I said, I, um, I just you hear these stories all the time. You never see the video. That's why I know right. it's inside sources, and, and no regular video person that's getting paid good that got good relationships and good access to these players and stuff like that. And can get anything they want from these players, autographs and tickets for you know things your family is going to be ruining these relationship for what? Right. You know what I'm saying? No, like I'm with you. Let me. Hey, what did Draymond do to have it leaked? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not a like person. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, how that, I look that, at that, you. Yeah. That's, they not like you. That's and, and that's like the vibes I'm getting from the organization. Right. All right. We're going to transition from one messy situation to, to another. Then we're going to go back to the NFL. Now, um, I know you're familiar with this guy from. You know, giving y'all the the business and y'all, and y'all division. Yeah, uh, ex NFL linebacker uh, Willis McGinnis. He he had some assault charges with a deadly weapon on them, stemming from a December uh, December ninth incident at, at a nightclub in California. Definitely was uh, welling on the guy with, with with a bottle. Him and a group of guys. I, that's what I'm saying. You already with a group of guys. Let the fellas just handle that. You know you're the star, regardless how old you are. At the time, he was a current NFL analyst on the NFL Network. You you, you know they um, pulled pulled his coat tail immediately off. off Patriots, there. yeah, the Patriots. Willis McGinnis, jeez, the linebacker. That's a very respectable guy too. And, and he was on the NFL Network as an analyst at the time. Yeah. This broke. They said, "Oh no, he's pulled off the air immediately." Uh, but he got so caught up in that in the nightclub brawl, and like you with the fellas, let the fellas take care of it. You know you're the star. You know you're the millionaire. You know you're on TV right now. What are you doing? First off, he's a little older than me and not by much. 51 years old? What are you even doing in the club at 51? That's what I'm saying. My like, main well, thing is, but, why are you in the club? Well, I'm like, at okay, he with the fellas. That's Maybe fine. it's a celebration. Okay. Maybe it's a celebration. That's what I'm thinking. First and foremost, I, I talked about it on the show. What are you doing in the club? But I'm like, okay, people are allowed to celebrate. He's obviously with the fellas, family, friends, whatever. Maybe somebody's got married. Maybe it's a joyous occasion. Whatever the case may be. Okay, let the fellas take care of that. Because you know they're they not famous like you. That's it. I, I, I went right 51 years. Why are you in the club? I'm like, okay, you know, holiday. Uh, it's holiday time. Maybe you, you all right, people, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever the joyous occasion may be, uh, you, you know you're, you're on TV right now. What are you doing? Exactly. <laughs> that's the hardest thing to do now. Yeah, yeah. They get a little alcohol in Yeah, them. yeah, that's what I'm saying. They turn the suit. Yo, man, that video, you have to see that video. It was like, I don't care. I'm not hot in my face. And, and, and I'm keeping it going. The guy got away. He went back for more to go. Like he was beating him up with the hands first. Then they got a. They went go get a bottle and give him some more with the bottle. And he's not a small guy, so he didn't yeah, get a what, bottle in the first place. That's he what I'm saying. Able to do with one hand. That's what I'm saying. Oh, first. man, it was mad guys on top of him, pummeling. Walk away. Step off to the side. Yo, man, this is crazy. What's going on? Like these NFL players. I mean, and athletes as a whole. You know, you got you know, Javante Davis, uh, the Bill Boxer, just you know, you know, overnight and that news broke about him. Domestic violence, uh, you know, uh, charges are being uh, put on him. But let's just like, I'm like, every day I wake up, if I don't see something at night, I wake up overnight to an athlete doing something. Like, it, it, it has a, to do with violence. I'm not going to talk about just getting in trouble. Some type of assault, whether, you know, on guys or, you know, domestic violence, just 
a song, some type of, you know, or, you know, obviously athletes gonna get trouble every day, you know, it just, it just happens, but like, no, dang, no. like every day, sauce, this, sauce, that, some type of, you know, things going on, like this stuff gotta stop, man. Well, they're normal people, but now there's cameras, so I'm sure this has probably been going on for quite some time, but now we got camera phones, yeah. we got social media, so now it's all getting caught. Mm -hmm. So before the camera phones and the social media, the going live and all that good stuff, Probably was harder to catch. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, like I said, you know, uh, the phone's right there. Pull, pull, pull it out. Boom, get all the you know TMZ uh, videos and get to get the you know um, TMZ paying for those videos. Yeah, they definitely, <laughs> they definitely. It's so crazy, man. man. All right, we're gonna uh, segue to to, to uh, yeah, we got some some uncomfortable situation right now. I don't know if you if you know what was going on the Kyrie Irving situation and got himself all jammed up and just with, with one tweet. Uh, uh, regarding uh, a tweet to an uh, anti-Semitic uh, book, you know, he tweeted out a link to an anti-Semitic book on Amazon and uh, lost, you know, major deals, shoe, shoe deal, Nike endorsements, you know, um, with, you know, Nike basically saying, you know, uh, we, we end things with you and we'll make another Kyrie shoe. But essentially, like, Kyrie was one, you know, one of the top uh, selling shoes for Nike it don't matter. matter. Nike, we're going to get another uh, new face, another new name. Now we got the John Morant signature shoe out. So we're, we're easily going to replace those sales with the John Morant signature shoe. We're going to keep this thing moving. And, you know, so it's just things like that. And obviously burning relationships with, you know, uh, you know, people, all types of business. And all because, um, you know, he's standing his, his ground on something that he wasn't clear about. Now, I understand what he was trying to do, but you need to be delivering your message way better than the way he was doing it. You know, and even like some, you know, even if uh, Kanye West had uh, a, a similar genuine message that he was trying to get out, such as, you know, Kyrie, like I'm just, you know, I know people looking at the chaos, everything. I'm looking at what are they trying to get accomplished? Like, what, what, what is the end game? Okay, I see the message that they're trying to get out. Why can't we go about delivering this message in a different way? Right. That's my, that's my take on it. My take is, I mean... Is anything, if anybody that has social media, we post everything. Mm -hmm. we, re, we repost. Yeah. We repost, we re, re, retweet, yeah. you know, things that we post. So if you just repost a movie, why is it a problem compared to if Amazon is selling the movie? So why was it never a problem with Bezos selling the movie on Amazon and this guy just retweeting a movie that he liked? Be because of the simple fact of like, uh, why is it big? Like, I, I noticed, and I'm, I'm about to break it down. It's like, why is it simple? Why, like, it doesn't matter when certain characters that play superhero roles or, or, or like uh, the, these wonderful characters and these guys get busted or something crazy in, behind these guys that play, you know, a cartoon character or a character for, for kids because these kids look up to them. And the same thing, these characters are real life characters that kids and youth look up to. And, and, and grown people look up to, you know, to, to, to be frank, if you want to be, you know, to be 100% correct about, it, you know, uh, adults look up to these people as well as you. Athletes, whether they want to accept it or not, they would, us Americans, you know, for the majority, look up to. You know, and regardless of your profession, whether you're a doctor, whether you're an actor, whatever, how much money that you think you're getting or however rich that you may think you are, like, unless you in the NFL and the NBA, you know, your soccer, baseball, what you know, unless you're playing the four, um, you know, one of the major sports in, uh, in America, like, you know, you're not going to be idolized like that. So what you do, especially as an athlete, does matter more so than the rapper, more so than the actor. But what makes it so bad just for pulling, hey, I watched this movie. I think you guys should probably watch this movie. You know, it's just like anything. If I watch a cartoon, I like this cartoon. But, but, but if you, I'm showing yeah. history, why are we hiding history? Why are we hiding certain types of history in books? Why is that wrong for us to do, but it's okay for him to sell it? But the thing is, Kyrie offered him no explanation for the longest until he got forced to with the suspensions from the league. And uh, he just put it out there to try, and, and then was wasn't uh, clear in his message, he would just kept saying, because they was asking him, this is an anti-Semitic uh, book, boom, 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 uh, anti-Semitic book and movie, uh, why, are, why are you um, pr promoting this on your, on your platform? And he's just trying to uh, deflect, which is, you, you shouldn't have done. 
I'm not promoting nothing. Like, he's trying to do the technical terms. I'm not promoting nothing on my platform. He's trying to do all that stuff for the, for the longest uh, before he got suspended. And, and was like, how can I be anti-Semitic when I know where I'm from? Instead of just being clear and direct in his message from the beginning and did it in a way where nobody can interpret it the wrong way. Because right. you left it up for so much interpretation. So people are going to be offended by it. But even if he didn't leave it open and he did do it, was the same there? You think they're still not going to throw the book at him? I'm, Only because he put it there. Even if he would have yeah. gave them answers, the media still will misconstrue everything and will not allow anyone because everyone gets up in arms about certain things yeah, when yeah. you talk about one thing. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about another thing, oh, it's not a big deal. Let's leave that part of history alone. But whenever you talk about this part of history, we need to leave it alone. But yeah. when we bring up this part of history, yeah. they say, oh, no. Go ahead. Let's leave it. We don't, we don't want that. No. Mm -hmm. Why do you guys keep bringing that up? Why do you keep bringing that part of history up? Like I said, it goes back to you got to be strategic in the way you deliver your message. That's where I'm at. You, you are playing a game. This is a game. You got to play the game. Like we already know the the the, the, the game that that we're in, and you're going to have to be strategic in what you're trying to what you're trying to get accomplished if you're going against the grain. Because you know if if you won't be strategic in what you're doing. This world, especially the powers that be, they'll let you know how much powerful they really are regardless of how, you know, famous or how much, like, trendy of an icon that you may think you are. You know, these major corporations and companies got, you know, got power. The NBA, Nike, and the other, you know, the, the, the brands right. that you're we're not We're in the ties with you. Mm -hmm. NBA, you're suspended and definite until we feel like you got the message. To come back, so clearly not. I, 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 I'm sorry. I apologize. I got the message. I should have been. Yeah, but I wish we would have done that on the front end. Cause of course, everybody know. Like I, everybody knows, when you get faced with with, with that ultimatum, whether, whether if you meet it or not, you you won't capitulate and say whatever to, to come back to play. Right. Because he was suspended indefinitely until so he had to go through the list of steps that they feel like he, you know, he got the message uh, because he he wasn't. Returning the, the owner's phone calls, all this stuff that, that you know, many people didn't know. The owner that, that putting the checks, you bringing bad light to my business. Yo, talk to me. What's going on? You want to text me and I'm, I'm paying you the check and you bring all the bad light. And you want to text me and not get on the phone with me? That's a problem. Then uh, try to talk to you. You want to send representatives to me. Now, nah, nah, you're going to be suspended, do all this stuff, you know, indefinitely because we're, they gave him every ample opportunity to explain itself before business relationships got, got ended before suspensions happened because, you know, the cameras in, in, in the face constantly, uh, you know, for press conferences and stuff like that. And then, or even on a social media platform, he could have just done something to clear his message out. Ain't doing nothing until the suspension and, uh, you know, Nike ended the, uh, the business deal and all that type of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, of course, now you're going to capitulate, whatever, but I wish you would have been clear in your message from the forefront. And, and of course, nobody, everybody's not gonna agree with it. They can take it for whatever you know, for whatever it is. But right. you know, the message got put out there, clear and precise, and you can take it for whatever you want. But you can't interpret it in a, a other way because this is what I mean by it. this is why I'm doing it. This is exactly exact, exact, you know every you know everything verbatim. You know, just rather you know leaving up to be somebody to insinuate something different. Yeah, I mean. That's what you know. That's why I'm saying. You know, I just I, like to be direct. No, no, I, I, me personally, but you know, everybody's different. You me know, personally, different. like with those things, yeah. those guys have millions of dollars. So mm -hmm. guess what? They can they can do and say whatever they want. I hope they got enough stashed away to be able to go through those hard times. Oh yeah, you know, me personally, I'm about. not going to argue what they argue a lot of the times because mm -hmm. I don't have the money they sit on. Like you know, I know yeah. I work for a certain company. They don't yeah. like what I say about certain things. Yeah. So therefore. You know, you just got to keep it because I don't have millions of dollars yeah. just sitting around that I can eat off of later. Yeah, that's why I say you got to They have money. that platform that they can do these things to show us like, hey, mm -hmm. look what happens when we do this. Yeah. Look what happens when we do this. Look what happens when they do this. Mm -hmm. Look what happens when they do that. Yeah. You know, we can also pull up to whereas Ray Rice beat the hell out of that girl. Yeah. yeah that yeah. was all over media. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But man, it just comes up. I can't remember where is the white guy that lineman for the Colts, or was it the Seahawks? He played for several teams. Yeah. I mean, he damn near killed the girl, and they showed her picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one that. said anything. It was so quiet. Yeah. But then on Good Morning Football, uh, 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 
Nate Burleson said, Nate Burleson, I, yeah. I have to, I have to bring this up because nobody's talking about mm-hmm. it. Like, Nate Burleson bought it to light, but even though he bought it to light, yeah. they still didn't really talk about yeah. it when he bought it to light. Yeah. So that's what I mean. That, but that that goes on because they'll try to, you know, media has a lot of power. So you you have, you know, the power to, you know, create the narrative or shut the narrative down. You could you could create the narrative that you that you want to create, or if you want to shine light on a certain narrative, or or, or you know. Put a you know don't shine a light on something. You you don't have to like media can control a lot. Media picks and chooses, yeah. and it's definitely going to be the color of your skin on how they pick and choose what they want to do, especially when it comes to sports. Yeah, because why is it you only see black athletes always getting in trouble? Mm-hmm. It's always only black athletes always on the news that's doing certain things, getting in trouble. These other athletes, not so much. Are they doing these things, or is it just getting swept under the rug? Yeah, this is what I. It's always raised my thing. I was. Is it just us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, it just that. us doing this stuff? Because nah, we're the only not. ones they show on the news. Hey, he was drinking and driving. He mm. was beating his wife, or he yeah. was fighting in the club. They don't do these things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you, you we, gotta, you gotta only search. Ones for, get caught. You gotta search for that information. You, you got. It's, yeah. it's not breaking news. Come, there's so much information that I do show that I see that shows or you know ESPN or whatever don't cover breaking news across the ticker. That's you know popped up on social media or popped up on news ways that you, I gotta go look for right. and, and, and find rather you know from the you know if it's a black athlete do something crazy it's running across the screen constantly or all the shows is talking about it things of that nature, but um we're gonna you know transition from from that situation so what's your what's your thoughts on Brittany Griner's home she got you know wrongfully detained in Russia U.S. Uh, deemed for you know her being caught with the uh, the pen of marijuana and at the airport in Russia and like I said thankful that she's home and things like that but um, of course I you know don't agree with you know her being locked up you know you know for that but you in other people's country everybody country different set of rules um, you, you know obviously she says that she didn't know it was in her bag and stuff like that but you just gotta be smarter than that like you you gotta double check everything especially you going to other country now I know she's been there before years like but like you just need to know the rules. Regardless, you you know you've been there. You need to know the rules and stuff like that. You got to know the rules because you in another country, you could just be locked up for life over there. Essentially, it's scary to think that. Exactly. Me personally, being a military veteran, going to these Arabic countries, I've always made sure I dot my eyes and cross my t's, coming and going. Yeah. Because there's no way I want to be in those guys' prison. So yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Glad she's home. Yeah. But uh. Did, how many? If you did this, how many times did you do it knowingly and got away with it? Yeah, exactly. Or did exactly. someone put that in your bag and you didn't know? That's why. So I'm there's two options that could be going on. Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to find that out. Yeah. I mean, I want her to like you know do you know tell off. Right. Of course, <laughs> yeah. she's probably not. <laughs> not going to get now, yeah, now that they bought her home, you, yeah. she's always going to be under surveillance. She's always going to be watched. Everything she do now is going to be under a microscope because. The government brought her home. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. When they left the marine that was already there for several years, yeah, which is he should have came home also. Yeah, so no, to me, that, yeah. how do I feel? I don't know how I should feel because I'm a veteran. And you got yeah. a guy that's still sitting there because he's more valuable. Yeah, so yeah, they exactly. say, yeah, "quote yeah. He's more valuable than she is," but we traded her out for a guy who's very valuable. Because the Russia, you know, um, Putin, he, 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 you know, he's, he's smart. He's not dumb. Oh, she popular to y'all. She really don't do, you know, it ain't a threat to what we do. She playing for our team. But he's but, smart. He yeah, yeah. Like, he, oh, she's she popular for y'all. Oh, y'all y'all want her back. But, and more, you know, based off of the masses, more so, the, 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 you know, the, the military guy that y'all, y'all have here in Paul, you know, and Paul. So, we're going to use this leverage that we have, because we have leverage, mm-hmm. to get what we want. And, like, you know, now all those reports come out, it was, you know, the Brendan Griner deal or, or, or no deal. Mm-hmm. You know, you know that's, that's how Russia was putting out. Brendan Griner, you know, for, for, for the, the Russian arms dealer or, or, or nothing else, they wasn't going to get Paul in that deal. They, you know, Russia saying they got to work that out on a separate occasion. Me personally, that's a no deal. It's a no deal. Yeah. Because if you want to hold this guy, what is it that he knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Why you really want to hold this guy? Mm-hmm. Why is he so valuable? But we'll let her go because she knows nothing. Exactly. And this guy may know something. Mm-hmm. So if we bring him back, how can he help? So to me, it's a yeah. no deal. Sorry, Brittany. You got to sit a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, like yeah. I said, there's there's but, two things. that She's a person. She's a normal person just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. It's just she has athletic capabilities. She has athletic talents. But mm-hmm. she's still normal. If she did that, hey. 
you did that and you knowing. How many times did you do it before you got caught? And then you do it around a time like did this, not yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah, when this. you can come home and go somewhere else and get it to yeah. these states where it's legal I, I, for I was, recreational purposes. That's what you I'm didn't saying. Have to, you didn't have that's to me. have it. Especially the times that was going on. Like, that's what I'm saying. Well, you was oblivious to something. If you brought that over, you know, willingly, obviously you was oblivious to what was going on. You know, trying to be naive or whatever case may be because... You know, the, the, you know, the war times when you were Ukraine and, and uh, you know, just, you know, obviously that's still going on. But when the initiative was going on at that time, like you, you just got to be more uh, like your agent, your personal assistance, you know, people that work for you. Somebody need to be, you know, breaking these th th things down to you and, and, and be stating that this is not a good idea. So that's where I'm at with it. And um, pretty much going to trend, you know, this is probably, the, uh, uh, you know, the last untouchy situation we're going to talk about. Uh, <laughs> Uh, can, can we talk about Deshaun Watson be, being back and playing football after all his uh, multiple 20-plus uh, uh, allegations of mis sexual, uh, uh, sexual misconduct during massages? Uh, you know, all these 20-plus allegations. And so, he, you know, get rewarded with, you know, new, new, new nice guaranteed contract, $230 million and So how, how, how can you punish a man for what he likes to do sexually? How can you punish a man for something that he didn't do anything wrong? You know, if I like to do certain things sexually behind closed doors, yeah. that's what I like to do. If somebody's considered a freak and that's what they like and that's yeah. how they are, he never touched anyone a certain way. He didn't sexually assault anyone. He didn't rape anyone. He didn't do any of the sorts. He just have a certain ways that certain things that he likes to do yeah, yeah. sexually when he be considered but, but, but like obviously now we wasn't in the room now now if, if obviously the some of the reports are that for you know that you know the females felt like he 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 made it that they couldn't you know that their career will be like they, they felt like their career will, will be be like not not, not growing or be down because he a lot of these people that he was going were just new up and coming or just you know, novel like just like they wasn't trained. They were there was a lot of new people from social media or like you know new new masseuses. So he wasn't going to like season people and like um I get like they was feeling like if they wouldn't capitulate to it, he's at, you know because he, his demands that he was you know because he was telling them to do certain things on the massages and go to certain places on the massages that this could be bad for for for, for you know what they're trying to do. That's what they were saying, right? I mean, like I said, but we was, we wasn't we in the wasn't region. there. We so don't like, know. But it's just like all these allegations. All like it's like what's going on? Everybody coming out the woodwork, and then every it's just a new one. Especially when they thought they had all the settlements took place, everything was settled. Then it was like another one. There's more. Out. So there's, yeah. do you even believe that? Not even you, but yeah, yeah. it's almost just in general. Do we even believe that this is real? Because it's like is this people stuff are just trying, to, trying to just give to kill money? this guy's character. Shit. Ben Roethlisberger was supposedly have two women in the bathroom to rape those women in that bathroom. Yeah, yeah, that's my. You know, and okay, not a big deal. It's okay. Wins the Super Bowl, everything's good. Mike yeah. Vick does the dog yeah. thing. Hey, he's worse than Ben Roethlisberger because they were animals. But yet, Ben Roethlisberger allegedly, if you did these things, you ruin these girls for life. You ruin yeah. their mental. You ruin their lives. Whereas they want, they're upset about Vick and animals when you have two women who were supposedly raped by. Ben Roethlisberger. So now we go back to Watson. Mm -hmm. If that stuff was true, if yeah. it was, okay. He didn't... He's back. He did his time. He did what he was supposed to do. Um, guess what? He, he, he's rusty as hell right Yeah, now. he definitely <laughs> rusty. So, oh, man. He, he ain't playing two exactly. years, man. He looking garbage out there. Yeah, he won't be ready until next year. Yeah, yeah he definitely not looking real good, but he got to get... You know, he ain't, he ain't been playing. You got you, you got to play to, to get better, so... And I think he'll come back. I think he'll be the guy that he was. I mean, but he's still not going to be good enough to take on the mighty Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, got, we owe him one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We owe yeah. him a big one that time he knocked us out. Yeah, yeah, man. Not he's sure a, how he broke that dag on tackle. Yo, oh, my God. Yeah, that was, that was beautiful, man. That was definitely beautiful. Man. That Yo, that was crazy. Like, and he was a baller back yeah. then. I mean, we hit this. It was two years ago, but he was a baller, oh, man. Oh, he's still, uh, he's still that he, guy. Yeah, he's so, a, he got, he got, a, you know, he got the kinks. When pans out, you watch, like you said, he he, make, he, he works out the kinks. Mm -hmm. He's still gonna be that guy, but yeah, until we, they play us and we realize, like, he gonna realize yeah, that yeah. they're not the same. <laughs> okay, okay. After we win the Super Bowl here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, like yeah, we. 
Oh man, that the Super Bowl. That, that, obviously, that's your pick, man. I I hope that you know my team get in the dance because we got an opportunity to win the last two games and have yeah, some po- you know possibilities. But hey, it don't. Matter. I don't got no dog in the race if we ain't there, so it don't matter to me. Be the craziest thing we ever seen if they got in and won it. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Mike Tomlin. Yeah, but that, he's already a, 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 a Hall of Fame yeah, coach. That's just a Mike Tomlin type type of. Uh, but they team. probably put him in next week if you guys win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, yo, what you what you think about sports betting, man? I, I love sports betting. I I, I dibble and dabble from time to time. Which you, you know, it's so easily accessible now. It's the new wave. It's the new thing. Like it's just embedded into this into our, our culture now. Like you know, what, what's your feelings about that? Hey man, if that's what you do, if you are a gambler and you gamble, knock yourself out. Mm-hmm. Me personally, it costs money to make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't gamble, but what I did do, um, what well, I think it was a uh, bulldog or DraftKings is more yeah, yeah, yeah. out. Years when ago, came, when came came gave out. you like X amount of dollars That's if you put in a little bit of dollars. Mm-hmm. I did that just to see what it was, see what it was like. Yeah. Um, after my money ran out, that was it. It's almost impossible to win unless that's your job. Yeah, yeah. No, you so, got you got you got to be really on, on top of everything because you know injuries, people let, let, uh, late minute scratches, matchups, people that you know games or somebody you know basketball, somebody just played last night versus a team that didn't play last. You gotta look at all the things around the game that don't have to do with the game itself. Right. Before yeah. you, yeah. Before you even get to the talent that's on, on, on the court, on the field. It's almost like quit your job. And I'm gonna go ahead and read these stats. Okay. <laughs> so he played in the snow two years ago. This is what he did. Yeah. He's playing the same team in the snow. He did this, and he played against this line and here in the rain. It's, it's, it's almost it's, like you gotta have all these stats to achieve. Me personally, I don't gamble. I don't get into it. But. Yeah. I mean, you really got to do your homework. That's yeah, yeah, going to exactly. be really, really addicting because you want to keep going and going and going. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, yeah. it's to each his own if that's what you like to do. And you like to do sports gambling, sports betting, however you do it. I mean, I mean, go for it. For me, it's not for me because I know yeah. that I'm not going to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah especially when you uh, do parlays to get many, you know, uh, many teams win together rather than just betting on one team and stuff like that. But, right. you know... It's cool. I, I like it rather than just being illegal or you got to only go to Vegas or Atlanta City. Right. You know what I'm saying? Any, anyway, can we talk about Russell Wilson uh, struggles this year and he getting a head coach fired and all that crazy stuff? Now it's just on Russ. It ain't no more Nathaniel, you know, uh, you know if, if it's the coach or, or now he's out the picture. Not saying for them to make the playoffs this year, but you know more, more so the next year. I don't, I don't even know if they're even gonna uh, let let Russ uh, Wilson continue to play the rest of this year. I mean, they're clearly eliminated from the playoffs. I don't know what like what's going on here. Like, ain't nothing good that's gonna come out of Russell Wilson still playing this year. But what you think about his woes this, this season, man? Because this, this was Pete Carroll on, on the something. Me personally. <laughs> Russ was a system player. That's how I feel. Oh, okay. So, so Russ a- moves away from his system. Gino yeah. comes in and Gino's yeah. playing okay in that system. Yeah. He's Pro- not Russ. Probably, probably. But he's playing right. Hey, Gino Smith has never played this well and was never given yeah. a chance to play as well with the Jets. Didn't have the opportunity when he came in because he didn't have that veteran presence to teach him. Presence yeah. to teach him. So now he's here going into that same system. Think about it. He's, this isn't his first year there. It's like his second or yeah, third yeah, yeah, year yeah. behind Russ. Mm-hmm. Russ leaves. Russ goes to uh, uh, the Broncos. Mm-hmm. Now I feel I feel like this. I, they, you hear it here first. Next year, Russ is going to tear it up. Okay. Because you're bringing a guy like Russ, but you didn't bring in the offensive coordinator yeah, they, they, that he needs, that, that offensive system that he that, needs. That, that, that plays for him because Russ is a system player. Yeah. So yeah. now next year, Russ is going to come in. They're going to get everything they need mm-hmm. for Russ because they spent a lot of money on Russ. Yeah, yeah. They, they got do. plenty of money because Walmart owns. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No. Walmart's the Waltons. They're they're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're they're the owners now. The yeah, that's also they got plenty of money. So well, yeah, they're going to bring in exactly what Russ needs, and you're going to watch. Russ Cook next year. Okay, okay. Russ not done, and Russ doesn't care. Yeah. Russ is going home to Sierra every night. Yeah, I wanted Russ to care less. Man, he had me looking like a fool. I had I had him going to the Super Bowl this year, man, because I, you know, I thought he was going to slide right in there with the defense. The defense was a great defense, and he got the defense feelings all hurt and got them playing bad now. <laughs> well, look, I said, <laughs> look at him on the sidelines of the last game. He was sitting here with the offensive lineman. It's almost like they didn't have any care in the world. Nah, they don't. It, it's it's almost like they didn't care. It's like most of the time you can see. If you look at the Bucks and you look at their guys and you look yeah. at the face with Brady and the line and they're frustrated. Yeah, yeah. They, but they, if you they, look they, at those guys, it's almost like they know something. Like, don't worry about it. But it's the it's the environment though that he put himself in. I didn't even know all the stuff that was going on until this went on this year. Like this was going on in uh, Seattle and Russell Wilson brought all the stuff you know to um, 
to, to Broncos as far as in, you know, the, you know, the, the beautiful parking spot. He has an office, a office in the facility, really? which was, you know, that, that's not normal for players to have. Yeah. He had, you know, they were on the street. Players can't talk to him directly. They got to talk to it. You know, his assistant, you know, like, they, they, like players don't have his number directly. So like the team bonding, the, the Kumara stuff, you know, the camaraderie stuff and the, you know, the being one and the brotherhood, like he's being distant from everybody and, and not creating uh, that. See, if that's so, true. So you, you, you can't win like that. If that's true. You, you're never going to win yeah, like that's that. That's not cool. I, I would never even, I couldn't even see Russ being that type of guy. But, but if that's true. It, that's, they say that's true. I can't play with you. And as a lineman, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to move every now and again and let you get that sack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, I can't yeah, talk yeah. to you and I can't get you on the phone, Russ. Mm-hmm. Every now and again, I'm going to move out the way and let that D-tackle come through and clean your clock. Because yeah. if I'm blocking for you, we're supposed to have some type of uh, uh, a mutual respect, a yeah. friendship, yeah. because yeah. I'm guarding you. But yeah, guess what? You. As that tackle guard or center, I'm mm-hmm. every now and again, I'm going to move. I'm going to let that D-tackle and nose guard come through and clean your clock up because I should be able to get a hold of you anytime. Yeah. Because we suppose it's a brotherhood. It's, yeah, it's, it's I should have like to that. talk to your assistant. Nah, and, and and it's crazy that he he built that culture, and and it made sense because um, I know you know especially recently some of the uh, Seattle former Seattle players was, was talking, especially uh, Marshawn Lynch and our uh, uh, Richard Sherman, um, but uh, there was another one that was on his panel I forget, but they were just um, shedding light the fact that Russell Wilson was not leading Seahawks, so you know the, the Legion of Boom and and the other the other guys um the Legion of Boom and oh uh, my gosh I want to say it was a Tate Golden or something like that uh Golden Tate yeah, Golden Tate, yeah, yeah the wide receiver and uh, Percy Harvin those guys was those guys was the leader Russell Wilson wasn't leading he was just you know sh- you know you know showing up playing hard doing his role mm-hmm. but he went over there and and the Broncos thought he was a leader which he really wasn't and obviously he's just displaying those same behaviors that he's not a leader with them. So they was getting some false hope on a leadership play that they thought they was going to bring because he he's not a leader to, to bring that to them. So that and, and this is it's like uh, shedding light on that more so than, than anything. Well, that's news to me. I hear that. Yeah. So I'm actually looking into the read up. Yeah, yeah. So you know that's what's going on with that. But like we're gonna be wrapping this up soon. But can we uh, get the? I need I like top list. I need NFL top. Wild receivers. Let me get your top five wild receivers. While you get your list together, I, I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get mine. Your, your top five receivers balling out right now. For me, number one, I'm gonna give Steph, Stephon Diggs. His, you know, is probably Stephon Diggs number one. Mm-hmm. Justin Jefferson number two. I'm gonna give uh, Tyreek Hill number three. I got AJ Brown at number four, and then I got Devontae Adams at number five. Top mm-hmm. five receivers balling out right now. So that's your number. It's your top five. So yeah. you guys. Stephon Diggs at one. Mm-hmm. Jefferson gotta be number two then. I'm gonna go. No, no. I'm gonna go with Diggs. I'm gonna go with Jefferson at. Uh, I'm gonna go with Jefferson at one. I'm a Bills okay. guy. So yeah, okay. I mean, because Jefferson has definitely been balling. Well, you know what? I, I'm gonna change it because I feel like if if, if he ain't if, making the touchdowns like Diggs though. I I, I love yours too. I'm but going I love back touchdowns. with Diggs at one. Yeah. Then I'm going. The only reason why I said because I, if, if certain passes could have been made, things could have been better. So I'm going with Diggs mm-hmm. at one. I'm definitely gonna go with Jefferson at two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with Tariq Hill at three. Okay. Then I'm going to go with uh, De- uh, Devontae Adams at four. Okay, you got Devontae Adams at four. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much where you're at. And my number five is going to be... Um, my number five... Hmm. AJ Brown ain't doing it for you? Let me see. Uh, we'll throw AJ Brown in there. I'm like, yeah, you balling this here, man. We'll, we'll, de- we'll, we'll definitely throw AJ yeah. Brown in five. But that's my mind. We got Diggs. Yeah, Diggs. We got Jefferson. Jefferson. We got Hill. Hill. Adams. Uh, Adams. And then, well, we'll go. Let's just go AJ Brown and then Adams. We'll make, oh, okay, we'll okay. Make Adams last. Because that's I, what, I don't have a quarterback. That's that's why I, that's my list. That's what I said. I know. <laughs> did we do them the same? Yeah, way? we did the same. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I, I'm not I making some. I don't, I don't have a good memory. I'm calling like I see it. That's right. just what it is. And you know, I'm going with the odd test, but then I'm, all right, I've got a little stats to back it up, and I'm like, yeah, the, the, the stats back, you know, matching up what I'm saying. I'm because I'm like Justin Jefferson. He getting the, the the receptions, getting them yards. But I'm like, yo, the touchdowns is not adding up. He's been going some games without touchdown or one touchdown, and Diggs always get like a touchdown every game. Mm-hmm. So, um, but then we're going to top five quarterback. Can we get the top five quarterbacks bowling out right now? Now this list is, is a funny list for me because I'm, 
you know, I got to put Tom Brady up on there. You know, I got my list just because Tom Brady is the GOAT, but I, I got like a real list. He list won't be on mine. Yeah, because, because, you know, Tom Brady the GOAT. I mean, you the GOAT, you still got to be, be on the list. But even though he's not playing so good right now. Top five that's balling right now <laughs> or my top five? <laughs> your top five. Your okay. top five. So, I got Pat Mahomes number one. Tom Brady number two. You know, you know, in my ideal role. Uh, Aaron Rodgers number three. Then uh, number four is Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is balling, doing his thing. And then I got Josh Allen number five. Now, realistically, I'll slide everybody up and then have J- Jalen Hurts be number five. So, realistically, it would be Rodgers number two and Cousins number three and then Allen number four and then Hurts, Jalen Hurts at number five. Because it's my top five. Do we care about the numbers? Nah, nah, nah. A little bit. I'm glad we don't care yeah, about yeah, the numbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm going to go Jalen Hurts first. Oh, man, okay. So, I'm definitely going Jalen Hurts because in the beginning they were like, oh, Jalen's this and Jalen's that. And now he started wanting no Jalen's the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jalen's the man. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to go Patty number two. Okay. Uh, we done, and you're going to be surprised with my number three. My number three is going to be um, Chicago Bears. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, Fields. Oh, man. This you know is why? Crazy. Hey, Justin Fields hasn't got a fair shake. He don't have all. He doesn't have an offensive line. So you said this is my top. Yeah, three. yeah, but I see. I, him I love Justin Fields, and I, I watched Justin Fields from quarterback one from high school yeah. to, to college, where he had to transfer, and he get a guy like uh, uh, he take he takes his place, so he had to transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now where's this kid at now? He, the Bills picked him up. What was his name uh, when he was at Georgia? Uh, the Bills picked up the guy. I can't remember his name. I can't remember. No, I, I don't. Want, I want to say. Um... I don't want to say Blake, but it's not Blake. No, Blake, but that's no, not Blake. Dang. I know you're talking about the Georgia quarterback that, that was there. He ain't even in the league anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fields is still here. Because he got into a championship game. He did get him to a championship game. He did get him to a the championship because Fields ended up going to Ohio. But yeah. so we got, then, now, then we got Fields there. And then so we got Fields. We got Pat. We got, so we got, well, I went with uh, Hurts. Yeah. I went with uh, Patty. Mm-hmm. And we went with Fields. So my last two. two Oh man, I had to give it to. Uh, this is hard to do because I, I I hate to throw Allen in there. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean we were just yeah. So I guess I guess I throw Allen. Yeah, in I there. mean you gotta you know we gotta go with the realistic and, stuff. And, 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 I'm, and I'm going to throw golf in there. Oh, oh man, like this is unbelievable. Why, why am I bro. throwing golf in there? Oh, because you think the Lions is having a, a decent season. They having a way better expected season for them for the expectations. They but they shouldn't be graded on the curve. They went. They went. This they, is not graded they, on the curve, though. It's seven straight. All right, but this ain't graded on the curve. This is I'm not compared to the curve. You this, asked me. Yeah, mine. I know. <laughs> I, I'm going with the you know with the rest of the competition. You know what well, I mean? I'm not, I want to do yeah. it against what everybody else. Yeah, is yeah, doing yeah, yeah. That's definitely a, a a unique list right there to the fullest. So I I, I want to go against the grain. For you, for you have Jared Goff in the top five. I would five. definitely. I, I could remove Jared Goff and put yeah. in. Uh, should I? Could I always put Purdy in there? Not really, but... Oh, uh, yo, this guy talk about... Any 49ers quarterback, right? No. Any 49ers quarterback, right? Let's move right? golf and just throw <laughs> Dak in there. Why not? Oh, okay, okay. I forgot. I almost forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, you know, he's a little too inconsistent for my liking, but hey... This is what but guess is. what? How can you expect so much from a third-round pick? Yeah, exactly. I hate the expectations that they ask for a third-round pick. They're treating Dak like he was a first-rounder, but y'all didn't expect this from Trevor Lawrence. You didn't expect none of this from Trevor Lawrence as a first rounder, first pick, but you expect this from a third rounder, and you talk all this mess about a third rounder, but he puts it up every year. Man, year he get, year. man, he getting paid a boatload of money, one hundred sixty million for years, hey, got seventy five million. They last year. wanted to pay him that. He was Jeez. a third rounder. They should have paid him earlier. And they might have had to go through all this. He was a third rounder. How do you expect that? Why do you expect so much from a third round pick? I mean, you don't expect that much from Je- uh, Lawrence. We, we, Nobody's we, talking about Lawrence. They, they must have thought he had the Tom Brady up and he's coming hey, out. You know, six rounds. As I sit here, they still not talking about. They talk about oh Lawrence is now. Lawrence is doing yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, 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 just now. Yeah, never. Oh, we so wasn't talking about. See Lawrence the yeah, first two years. Nah, oh no, they was quiet. Nah, they, I mean, like you that, know, the, the team. The, I mean, they, they don't have a good team, so. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. Lawrence was a number one pick. That couldn't yeah. have a bad year as a third rounder before the contract. That right. was it. This that is the Cowboys that. we talk about. Jerry Jones, the hype machine over there. No, everything gets magnified. But it's over beyond there. the Cowboys. This is that. Oh, so you think it's personalized? It is personalized. Come on, ain't nobody <laughs> saying nothing about Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. come on. Okay, but okay. they talking about that. Lawrence was a first rounder. That came in as a third round. I just and they think expected him to play like a first round. I think which he is. I just think it's that cowboy stigma. 
you know, Cowboys <laughs> around. Whether they on media, whether they on any, like Cowboys is around, man. The Cowboys <laughs> is around. You can't get away from the Cowboys, right? Casual fans, people that don't like sports, people know Cowboys Jerry Jones. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we were, uh look, All right, now. Do you do, do do you do you know who's balling in the NBA? You got top top five player list of all time. Well, you only got to do right now. Just give me. You only got to do it right now. Give me your top five NBA players of all time. Top five. Top five of NBA all players time. all time. Now I'll give you my list while you get yourself together. But I got my top five. Kobe Bryant. Number. Everybody knows that number one in my heart. MJ. I gotta go. With my name say Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And LeBron James. You know he earned himself to put himself up there. Number four spot, and I got to go with the Magic Man, Magic Johnson. My first, foremost, number one, uh-huh. Dominique Wilkins. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, Dominique okay. is always going to be number one. <laughs> uh, number two, we definitely going to go with, uh, uh, we'll go with, the two, we'll go with MJ. We'll, okay. We'll go with Kobe at number three, right, of course. Right. Iverson at number four. Okay, Iverson number four. And okay. then, we definitely at number five. Who's number five for you? Man, that's a little hard. I, I, I would put Barkley there, but I'm no longer a Barkley fan. No, so yeah, yeah, Barkley fan. Can't put Barkley yeah. ruined it. Barkley ruined it with the media here lately. Oh so yeah, 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 yeah. You don't no, like him on the, you don't no, like him on TNT? No, the Shaq's not in there either. Shaq's not in my list. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah Shaq, not uh, did I put Iverson in there already? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's number four. He's number so, four. I need a fifth. All right, so I need a, I need I need a fifth one. So my fifth one. Dennis Rodman. Oh, Dennis Rodman. I'm a huge Rodman fan, so I should, probably should have put Rodman up higher, but you really can't. So, we'll leave Rodman at okay, number okay. five. Big right. Rodman fan. Well, I already know we did an NFL top list, but can I get the top five players of all time, any position, however you want. Give me your top five NFL players, regardless of the position, however you want. Me, Tom Brady, John Elway, I got uh, LT Lawrence Teller. Lawrence Teller, that's the LT that I know. Um, and then Jim Brown for everything that he means for the culture. And I got to put my man, uh, Primetime Deion Sanders in there. <laughs> of course, how could you leave <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My number one is going to be Bruce Smith. He's the reason yeah. why I like the game. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, so we're going to go with Bruce Smith. Mm-hmm. We're going to go with Lawrence Taylor. All right. We're going to go with Michael Strahan. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. And then, uh, we're going to go with, uh, for quarterbacks that actually did the damn yeah, thing. Yeah, two more, two more spots. If it wasn't for Doug Williams, man, uh, Doug Williams leading the way with the first black quarterback. Yeah, okay, okay. Do. Yeah. And then, uh, man, I can't leave Dion out of there. So yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of people yeah. I can throw yeah. in there, but I got to put Dion my number five. But, yo, know, okay. Bruce Smith is going to be my number one. But, any day. Any day. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's a, he's a sack, career sack with the NFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. likes that. Reggie White's better, but Reggie yeah. White got 198. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so Bruce yeah, yeah, Smith yeah, yeah, has okay. 200 yeah, 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 sacks, nah. career yeah, sacks. Yeah, that, that, that's crazy. That 200, you know what I mean? I wish uh, my man TJ Watt would have been on the pace like that. but uh, like, yeah. hey, He ain't on the pace like that, but he, he yeah, a beast. Get out here with that. I love my <laughs> man TJ Watt. His, <laughs> brother, his brother retiring and stuff now and all that. You know, TJ Watt retired. Whole, your whole family Pittsburgh fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's that. We love it, man. We love it. You know, Pittsburgh over here. Still the nation stand up. Now, I need to get this thing about Coach Prime, what he's doing. You know, I mean, what he did for HBCU, Jackson State, and segue that to uh, Colorado, uh, you know, Power 5 house and all that good stuff. And uh, just kind of wanted to get your thoughts on what he, you know, you know, what he, you know, helps shed light on the HBCU. And obviously now you got, uh, what, Ed Reed signing with, I, I uh, Beth uh, Cockman. Uh, Ed Reed. Don't, don't cook. Yeah, yeah, Beth, yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, what? Yeah, so I'm like, what? I'm like. Deion's but, still but, working and yeah, he ain't even there. Yeah, no, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Stuff like this. I'm like, this is a Deion thing because it, it, it's shining a light on that. Yeah, now, Eddie George is there. Yeah, Eddie George is there. But now they, you know, even if they don't want to just be there the whole time, they know they can go to the power of five. From there, because you know, Dion is the first uh, per, a head coach that came from a HBCU to be not a sister coach to be a head coach right away at the Power right. Five. So now he kind of opened that door because you know, they, you know, even though they, they, they Hall of Fame great, football is not like basketball where basketball you could just come on and be a head coach. Football, they're trying to make you go through some some ropes and go through the process, being assistants, assistants, and all that stuff. Dion right. said, Now nah, I'm running the show, I'm not assisting to nothing. <laughs> And I'm sure you we could do it like this, and you know I'm pretty sure more uh, Hall of Fame great. It's gonna take Hall of Fame grace to do stuff like that, right? You know. Hey man, Dion had those options before. 
He yeah. had he had the those power five schools. He had a few before he went there, but he chose uh, Jackson State. Mm-hmm. But I will say, he did what he did. Yeah. And if it wasn't for him doing what he did, they still wouldn't be there. The Battle of the Bands still wasn't big enough to put them where Dion put them on that map. And everybody yeah. knows Battles of Bands. Battle mm-hmm. of Bands. When I was a kid, the only time we got to see black college football on TV was on BET. And was always yeah. Bayou Classic, yeah. the Southern and Granville State. That's crazy. It was only on BET. <laughs> it was that's what I'm saying. It was only on BET. Now right. you know he got it on ESPN. And that's what we looked yeah, forward it, to. It was only on BET. That was crazy. It was only on BET. So we couldn't get mad at the fact that oh he did what he did and now he left. Because guess what? One million, five million. Which mm-hmm. way you going? I'm going with the five million. I'm going with. But not only that, I built a brand. I mm-hmm. built a blueprint. Follow the blueprint. He yeah. left Coach TC there to handle business. Yeah, but yeah. now, as you can see, like you just said, mm-hmm. you got Bethune Cookman just picked up Ed Reed. Yeah. Tennessee State has uh, 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 George. George. Yeah. Um, there's a couple other schools that have other 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 players mm-hmm. also. I can't I can't think of them off the top. But he's already built that. But college game day never was, went to yeah. a black school. Come That's what on, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, college, yeah, Stephen A. Smith college at game day, like you know. Like, Stephen A. Smith, college game day, there on a Saturday at Jackson State. Like, this stuff don't go on. Stephen A. Smith, college game day in Mississippi. And they got bad water situation going on at the time. I mean, probably still do. But I'm saying, like, like these, people, these guys was not going to come out there Man. other than primetime Deion Sanders. Um, Matt, uh, just, just, just imagine everything that he did right now. Like, you got you're, a son, had his sons there bowling. Man, this you're is a football crazy. player. I'm a football player. Mm-hmm. Deion Sanders comes to my Deion Sanders and Nick Saban. They both come to speak to my parents. Nick Saban comes to the house. He's eating dinner. He's dry. He mm-hmm. doesn't fit in. They understand. When Deion walks in that door, not only do my family know him, yeah, but, 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 but I already got him because the parents know me. The parents don't want me no, to no, come. But the, the, the conversation but, and yeah, how we yeah, relate yeah, as yeah. people. Hey, man, this is where you about to go, son. Hands down, you going here. And, 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 and they know that he's in great hands with Dion. These are the hands that you want to be. Rather than, and nothing wrong with Nick Saban, but they... Nick they Saban don't relate to us. He don't come from where we no, come from. No. He, don't, he don't come from where we come from. Yeah. He don't understand where we come from. Mm-hmm. You and know what I'm saying? He's never lived or walked in our shoes and our skin, so he has no idea what it's like to be us. But Dion walks in that door. Yeah. Everybody know he came from the mud, so therefore... Hey yeah. man, look, look who we going with. And, and I like prime time. He keep it real. He say he going to he going to his mom and houses and and you know they, they everybody be trying to get you know offering food and that stuff. He said hey, food ain't good. He ain't eating. Hey, eat it. Hey, 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 put a little salt on that. Yeah, yeah exactly, man. <laughs> hey, hey, but but that's what we want. We, we want that conversation. We want that love. We want that realness. We want that authentic. Like that that, that you know that's that, that's where we come from and that's what it's about. So I love everything he's doing. I wish him luck, you know. Of course, I wish he would have went to a better school, but he gonna make that school pop and whatever. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, but um, I appreciate everything that he's doing, and uh, just wanted to shed, shed, shed light on that. Um, also, I, uh, I'm gonna get out of here real quick, but um, I couldn't get out of here without addressing the situation about two attack of a lava, uh, three concussions, and four months. Now he's in protocol concussion again. Like, what do you think about him still playing? I think this is bad for his health, to be honest. Um, they, you, you, everybody knows the multiple like concussions in a short period of time. That's not good. Whether you need to retire or take a season off, whatever you need your brain time to, to heal back up properly. Like I said, whether you need to take a season off to have your brain heal up properly, not even obviously a hundred percent, but just, you know, you come back and get another concussion and like in, in how many months, like these concu- three concussions in four months, like this is definitely not good. Hey, well. I watched LaCorn, Lacorn. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Sean McCoy, yeah, they was on TV. He said, man, you got, you watch some of these players get three in one season. He tell them, hey, go ahead and let it go. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure Tua probably feels like uh, he got a lot of the oldest people, things they're going to say. Yeah, I mean, uh, we are, yeah, because he, he's pressured to play because he wasn't playing good, you know, the whole time. Contract gear, he got a lot to play for. Yeah, absolutely. Let it go. How much money do you have right now? To take care of your mom and your dad, and I'm sure you may or may not have. I don't think you have any kids right now. Nah, well, you got insurance policy, he, so you'd be he, right. Lloyd's of London. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Who I'm sure they're covered by, which yeah, yeah, covers yeah. body parts and everything. Else. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if he leaves the game right now, especially what he has, he can still live a great life and don't have to worry about anything else. Now you worry about the long term effects of the uh, yeah, the, the concussions, yeah, yeah, the later you know. effects. But right now, yeah. lead the game. 
Who cares? Yes, it's, you it's, did yeah. what you did. It's it, just, can you live with what the people are going to say? Yeah, it's scary. Shit, like I got, just, a, I got yeah. a whole lot of money right now. You can tell me whatever you want. This is my brain. This is my life. Mm-hmm. So I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like I said, man. I, I know all the pressure why he feel personally to play, but uh, I, I don't think it's worth it. I think okay, even you just you know obviously they, they they don't you know resign you, you know uh, in the off season take the year off. And then you know talk back to medical experts. You know after the you know the next season off, and then come back the following season. It, it, it you know if it's you know best for your health to do so. Right. But if not, like you say, you just take that money, make other investments, and, and, and move on. Right. All right. Uh, before we get out of here, um, after everything that we talked about, what you and as you can see, what you think is more valuable? What you th- which, or what you going with, coaching or talent? You know that's kind of hard because. You can be a coach and have a ton of talent and win ball games. But if you are a real coach, you can take no talent and still win ball games. Yeah. So I say I'm going to go with coaching. Okay. You know, I just like the, the, you know, the talent because, you know, even the coach. Oh, uh, yeah? York City. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> no, no. This, this, yeah, yeah. That's a, but, yeah, but I tell you why. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got yeah, a lot yeah, of these guys. Yeah. Not knocking. I, I, yeah, I, I, know I, say, I, yeah, yeah. I love that you coach. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. But York is full of so much talent. Yeah. But now, if you take these kids in York County and bring them to York, here, let's let's flip flop. Okay. Okay. Let's take the talent from York City and give to these coaches that know how to coach. Mm, and let's yeah, take yeah. the kids from the county and bring them to the city, mm-hmm. who loves to coach but aren't very proficient in coaching, but they're doing it. Yeah, Not yeah, knocking yeah. them. Yeah. 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 Now you have a different ball game. Okay, yeah. yeah so that's kind of how yeah. I look at it. So I'm okay. going to say coaching because... Okay, yeah, I like that, I like that um, point of view. And, and I don't knock anybody that's coaching. I'm not saying that. Yeah, I just yeah, say yeah. the simple fact that... Man, we ain't talking know, about nobody it's, individual. We're just talking overall. Yeah, it's, it's very different because, yeah, it's being a coach and having talent. It's mm-hmm. great to have the talent, if, especially if you can coach. Yeah. But if you can't coach and you have that talent... You don't really have to coach. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. I'm, like, I'm going with the talent all day, every day. So, uh, even the coaches let you know. I can I can draw things things up on the on the board, but y'all gotta go out there and play. Y'all gotta go compete. <laughs> you know, you, right. you, uh, you know. I, I was at the you know the holiday tournament y- y- uh, yesterday, and I was seeing the uh, you know the coaches you know trying to you know you, you uh, fire fire the player. You, you, you can't win with your head down. Come on, come on, like they try you know try to fire them up. Right. I think mean, t- talent ain't too much good out here. Though. <laughs> and, and, and regardless of what you gonna say, they 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 they, 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 they they're limited. Right. They, uh, they, I believe they are giving it their all. You know, I believe yeah. they are. Giving, uh, this, this is they all. Right. I mean, they ain't winning, but this is they all. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I say I'm gonna go with the, uh, the the talent all day. But uh, yeah, we uh, um, before we get out of here, I wanna give a shout out to my uh, sponsors. You need fresh gear, fresh clothing. Go to Cash Baby Clothing Brand. You need fresh gear, fresh clothing. Go to Cash Baby Clothing Brand. You need event planning. Go to Wild Production and Events. You need event planning. Go to Wild Production and Events. So what you think about the show? I like it. It was good. I appreciate you, man. You know, everything yeah, was good. You. Everything was nice. Just yeah. natural. Everything we just, yeah, just, just flowed through. And yeah, we just have to have, have a camera right here. We were just have no conversation. <laughs> exactly. That's all. I yeah, appreciate it. Nah, it's yeah, all love, man. I definitely oh, appreciate yeah. you doing this, man. Thanks, nah. thanks again, man. Uh, happy holidays, and we're gonna do do more of this uh, again. Like, thanks uh, for coming on, uh, audience. Uh, stay tuned for more episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. Uh, catch me on the local community access channel Thursday, six p.m. to seven p.m. Uh, every Thursday, six p.m. to seven p.m. Local community access channel. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to let this cook, let it marinate, let 